Hi, I'm Shelley Levette with ChildCareLand.com, and today I want to share with you a penguin math mat. This pattern can be found on my website at ChildCareLand.com. Underneath the video section, it comes with um, number squares of 0 to 30, and then blank squares should you choose to make um, simple addition and subtraction squares. You print it out on cardstock paper and laminate it, and cut the squares out and laminate those. And it's up to you how you'd want to set this up, but I put mine on a metal cookie sheet, and then on the back of the squares are self-adhesive magnets. And what the children would do is they would pick a number, put it on their penguin math mat, and you need to have some kind of counters. We use goldfish for this project. Um, and they would put on the correct number of goldfish on the penguin, or in the water, just as long as it's the same number that's on here. So that would be an example of just the plain numbers. And again, I have 0 to 30 and then a blank set where you could write your own in should you choose to do simple math equations. And so this is 3 plus 3, so the child put 3 out and then put another 3 out of their counters. And then they would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 all together. 3 plus 3 is 6. For subtraction, the child would put the first number of, um, they'd put whatever the first number is, they put that many of the goldfish or whatever you're using for counters on. So they would do five, two, three, four, five, and so it's minus two, so then they would remove two, and that's left with, oops, sorry, that's left with three. So five minus two equals three. Um, centers like these are really fun for children to work with, and it's totally up to you what you would want to use as counters. Some people I know don't like to use food, but for this, with the penguins, the goldfish, it was really cute. And um, what I did was give each child an individual little cup of uh, goldfish that they could use for this activity. And if they chose to eat the goldfish um, after they were done, that was fine. But again, that's up to you and how you have your early learning environment set up. There's no rule for what you can use for counters for these kinds of activities. For a penguin math mat, I'm Shelly Levette with ChildCareLand.com, and thanks for watching.